Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and our focus is part of the More Than Smiles movement in addition to providing you know better access to care uh, to orthodontic care across the Lehigh Valley we've wanted to try and make oral health simpler and more sustainable for all of you out there uh, and today we're going to be taking the mystery out of gum health with a simple test that you can do at home to check to see if your gums are healthy. Now all you need to do this test is a piece or a roll of some unwaxed white floss that you can pick up at any pharmacy um, anywhere that you are. And just go ahead to that store, pick a whole roll up and cut yourself a nice big foot long 18 inch piece of floss and wind it around your fingers and just go ahead and take that floss and pick a spot in between some of your teeth and gently slide that floss down in between your teeth and along up and down the sides of each tooth going gently below the gum line just like you would be flossing. Now your gums if they're a little inflamed they might be tender don't worry but don't try and force the floss anywhere because you might hurt your gums. As long as you're not forcing it and you're gently going up and down below the gum line in between those teeth you're going to be doing it correctly. And if you need a little bit of a refresher on flossing, just go ahead and take a look at the diagram that I've included below. Um, now, what you want to do is after you've gone up and down along the sides of each of these teeth, maybe once or twice, go ahead and take that floss out and have a good look at it. And if there's any blood in that floss, that means that that area is slightly inflamed and that area of gum is not healthy. Now, if you're a smoker, it may not bleed even though that area may be unhealthy because the nicotine is constricting those blood vessels and keeping an area that's inflamed from bleeding like it normally would. Now make sure that you go ahead and to test the next area you go and get a fresh piece of floss and one that's, that doesn't have any blood on it or hasn't been used and do the exact same process. Now you're going to go around to all the different spots in your mouth and if there's any areas where your teeth aren't touching or they aren't particularly close, you can still slide the floss up and down the side of that tooth below the gum line very gently and you'll achieve, achieve the same effect that we're trying to produce here. Now, it's, I find that it's helpful when you're doing this to go ahead and record on a piece of paper uh, all the areas that you've tested and all the areas that have uh, registered as an area where it's bleeding and inflamed. So I've included also some charts for adult teeth and charts for t children's teeth down below that you can print out if you'd like uh, and use those as a helpful guide. Now you want to go around all the areas um, in between the teeth in your mouth and once you're done you want to break out your calculator and you want to take the total number of spots that you found blood on your floss and divide that by the total number of spots that you've tested and then you multiply the, the, uh, the product of that by 100 and you'll get a percentage of bleeding spots. Now you'll go ahead and take that number and just consult the chart down below and you get a really great idea about how you're doing controlling the health of your gums at home. Now all of you out there you're probably seeing your dentist you know every couple of months and you know your dentist is doing a really great job but it's ultimately up to you to keep your gums healthy in between visits and with this really simple test it's going to provide you a way to take a look uh, to see if there's any special areas that you need to pay more attention to or if any changes in some of the products that you're using to keep your gums healthy are actually making an improvement so you know I, I feel like this is a really helpful way if you're tracking things they tend to get better and what you want to do is take this uh, simple test and once a week sit down in your bathroom and go ahead and do it on your do your do this simple self exam and write that number down and you'll get a sense of whether or not your uh, gum health is improving, staying the same, or getting worse. And I think this is a really great way to make sure that you're doing everything you can at home to keep your gums healthy, or if maybe you need to do some things with your dentist to try and improve your oral health or if you might need to introduce some new products into your oral health regimen. But I want to thank that everybody uh, this past week that's become a fan of the More Than Smiles movement and shared 
uh, some of our blog posts with uh, some of your friends across the internet. You guys in the Fry Smiles community are the one driving this movement forward, and I'd like to thank all of you out there. I'll see you next week.